Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in today's first video doing the ECMWF 30 day forecast today's first video. So we're looking at mean silver pressure, 500 mm bar height, temperature and precipitation anomaly. It's the next four weeks, 30 days uh, for the UK and for uh, much of Europe as well. I should get on with that for you uh, very shortly. Just say that uh, coming up later on today, we're going to have a 10 to 14 day uh, update. We'll include all our break features and then we'll do a snow watch, I think, tonight. So there's going to be a little bit of snow potential coming up uh, later on this week. Of course, we've got Storm Christoph. Uh, with us at the moment. We'll have all of the information about that in today's 10 to 14 days. So it's a busy old day uh, to Gasworth is today. But starting us off is the EC uh, 30 day forecast. So let's get on with that, shall we? So we're going to begin uh, with uh, mean sea level pressure anomalies um, for week one, uh, which takes us uh, from the 18th to 25th of January. Uh, the deeper the blue uh, and green, the, the darker. Uh, or I should say, the, the deeper, the darker, the blue, green, um, the lower the pressure, the brighter the pink, uh, the higher the pressure. So uh, you can see that with the uh, with the um, ECM uh, week one mean cell pressure anomaly, we've got low pressure uh, from the North Atlantic into much of Northern uh, Europe over the uh, coming week. Uh, we're going to have a blocking area of high pressure still sitting uh, around Greenland, so heights are still relatively high. Uh, up there it means that for the northern half of the country, we're still pulling down quite cold winds from the north, but in the south we are bringing up some milder winds from uh, the southwest. So uh, much of Europe is uh, under low pressure, so it looks unsettled. And again, northern Europe generally quite cold with winds in from the north or easy direction. But southern and eastern parts of Europe should be quite a bit milder. And so those milder temperatures will push up the western side of Europe as well as the low pressure and the jet stream. Just gone that little bit uh, further northwards. This is the 500 millibar height anomaly from the North Pole view down. Again, showing the blocking uh, quite nicely around Greenland and backing into the Arctic as well. Low pressure then covers much of Northern and West Europe. We have got some higher pressure down into the southern part of the Mediterranean. Uh, but it's an unsettled scene uh, across many parts of uh, Europe with uh, the uh, with jet stream coming in off the Atlantic. And that jet stream has moved just a little bit further northwards in, uh, in, 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 the, in the past few days. So many parts of Europe have turned milder uh, now, although it is still cold in the extreme uh, north and in the northeast as well. It's a little bit cold in the southeastern part of Mediterranean, and it has been also. Uh, northern parts of the uh, UK and down into Ireland, still a little bit colder than average through there. But otherwise, many other parts of Europe have turned milder as the low pressure and jet streams have pushed over. So from southern Scandinavia down into Mediterranean, uh, looking really quite mild. Uh, very mild uh, through much of Germany, very mild. Uh, going down into Balkans, over towards the Black Sea uh, as well. Most of the Med is looking uh, milder than average from Spain, right way over to Italy and the Adriatic. It's just down in this extreme southeastern corner through like uh, parts of Greece and into uh, Turkey, but it is uh, a bit colder through there. And as I say, the extreme northeast Europe is still quite cold, as is northern parts of uh, Scandinavia. But many parts of Europe have turned milder uh, this week. Um, Precipitation-wise shows it's turned more unsettled uh, as well, so we can see that in this uh, eastern and southeastern corner, it's driving average through there. Still a little bit driving average around Norway, indicative of ongoing uh, northern blocking signals. Driving average around the North Atlantic into uh, southern Greenland and Iceland. So this is all indicative of where the northern blocking uh, is still residing. But with low pressure across much of northern and western Europe, actually many parts of Europe are wetter than average from like the northeast, Baltic states, Scandinavia. Of course, up there, most of the precipitation will be snow, even though it's not as cold as it has been. It's probably still cold enough for, for quite a lot of snow. Um, coming further westwards in towards like central and then western parts of the Europe, it also goes wetter than average. And as it gets milder, the further west you go, Obviously, you're talking more and more uh, about rain. It looks very wet down across uh, parts of uh, northern Spain and Portugal, by the way. Also very wet into France, much of Ireland and the UK looking quite wet. Denmark standing out as being pretty wet. Germany, Belgium, Holland, Netherlands, a bit uh, wetter than average through there. Maybe going further north, obviously, as you get into Scandinavia, you're primarily talking uh, about snow. Right, so that's uh, week one done. Let's have a look at week two then. We can extend out to weeks five and six with this, but we will stop at week four as it's a 30-day uh, look ahead. Uh, of course, it's a month head forecast. So we'll stop at week four and we'll show you weeks five and six data uh, in our live stream tomorrow. 
This is a week two means sale pressure anomaly again with low pressure in off the Atlantic jet stream is coming in off the Atlantic as well. We still have northern blocking signals. The high pressure is still there around green, although weakening a little bit, I think, compared to uh, compared to, compared to um, week one. Uh, but really, it's just lots of non-sell seen uh, across many parts of Europe with, with low pressure in from the Atlantic into much of uh, northern Europe. Uh, I've got some higher pressure down towards Spain, but that's a very weak uh, ridge for me, Azores High. Not so generally getting more on sale through Mediterranean, if anything. It's cooling private jet stream. It's starting to reach south, which might begin to pull some colder air back into uh, northern Europe, uh, actually. Let's have a look at week two, 500 millibar height only from the 25th of January to the 1st of February. See what that one is showing. So again, it, it looks westerly, uh, Atlantic driven really in this week, despite still considerable levels of dawn blocking. Um, but low pressures in off the Atlantic heights are rising down towards Spain. So that keeps the wind in from uh, the west, across much of Western Europe anyway. And and uh, the jets are probably shifting a little bit further south. It looks like the blowing is going more over towards the Canadian side of uh, Greenland as well in this week. The uh, week two temperature anomaly looks like that. So uh, generally it's a mild or very mild week actually at the end of January. It turns very mild across western, southwestern parts of Europe on the temperature scale in those sort of deep orange colours. Um, if that's right, we'll be talking about up to six degrees above average, I think. Much of northern and eastern Europe also looking very mild. Although Scandinavia is still cold, still on the cold side uh, for Scandinavia, as is Iceland and Greenland. That cold air just still hang on across Scotland, although England, Wales and uh, the Republic of Ireland are turning milder with this. But it is generally still quite cold for the far north and northwest of Europe. Uh, and the mildest temperatures are like in the east through central and sort of western parts of Europe in that sort of area. And it is very mild actually, particularly so for southern and southwestern and also eastern parts of Europe into western Russia. And the week two precipitation anomaly still looks unsettled through most parts of uh, Europe. So, so it's like a three-way split, really. This is where the blocking is. Uh, so we still have blocking in the North Atlantic up towards Greenland, over towards Iceland, and then into uh, particularly Norway. So still non-blocking goes on up here. Driving average through uh, much of the Mediterranean, and that's because the ridge is building from the Azores into the Med and southwestern parts of Europe, so drive through there. And then in between, this is where the jet stream is, just where the jet stream is pushing in from the Atlantic, bringing lots of low pressure um, right the way from Ireland to the UK in west, all the way over to uh, western parts of Russia in the east. So it's particularly unsettled uh, through France and into uh, Germany and, and the low countries. This area just here looking very unsettled. That's probably where the jets are running through, taking uh, vigorous areas of low pressure. So probably wet and stormy there uh, for week two. Okay, let's go through the week three. It's going to take us from the 1st to the 8th of February. What's happening here? Um, so this week looks like high pressure is beginning to re-strengthen perhaps a little bit, blocking, re-strengthening to the north. Just generally low pressure across much of uh, sort of Western Europe. I think the jet stream is starting to move southwards again through the first week of February, and we could be starting to bring in some easterlies uh, across the northern parts of Europe. So everything just shifting southwards a little bit as blocking begins to re-strengthen perhaps um, to the north. The uh, week three 500 millibar height anomaly looks like that. So uh, again, we've got this trough of low pressure across Western Europe. Seems like the jet stream is moving southwards with it. Uh, high pressure sort of stretched out from Greenland to the north of Scandinavia, losing the heights in the mare, which again implies that jet stream is probably starting to push back southwards once again. Further out we go, the week of signal gets, of course, and the more unreliable it all gets. Um, so we begin to get colder across the northwest of Europe in the first week of February. So it is cold, cold average really through most of the period across the Scandinavian peninsula. But that cold by week three is starting to spread back westwards again. So we've got Denmark going colder than average. Much of uh, the UK and Ireland beginning to go colder than average as well. Milder than average through much of southern uh, uh, much of southern and east and southeastern Europe. So it looks like we begin to go back to the pattern of winter, really, with the mildest weather 
in the east and the southeast of Europe, the coldest weather in the north and in the northwest Europe, and then a swathe where where we're in between, in between um, through like those central parts uh, of Europe. Mediterranean wise, it looks generally milder than average in most of the bed, uh, and particularly so over on the eastern side of the Mediterranean up into the Black Sea. The week three precipitation anomaly through the first week of February looks like this. So again, we continue to see these ongoing blocking signals within the normal axis. It never really goes away. And by February, the normal blocking is probably starting to re-strengthen again. Um, to dry of an average up here from Greenland to Norway, uh, wet of an average like through Spain and into France and, and then on into Italy. So again, indicative of low pressure beginning to push back southwards again, which implies that winds are probably turning back into the east. Of course, any precipitation across uh, northern and northeastern Europe is primarily going to be snow. Even if temperature normally is still above average, it will primarily be cold enough for snow in the far north and northeast of Europe. So first week of February, looks like cold weather could start to come back for northern Europe. And then we go through to week uh, four. So as we're going to go with this, uh, week four will take us from the uh, 8th through to the 15th of February. Let's have a look at that one. And just continuing signals of blocking re-strengthening uh, within the normal latitude. So, so high pressure uh, building around Greenland and Iceland, extending back to Scandinavia. Low pressure with these blue colours. Looks like it's shifting further south. With jet stream probably now down into the Mediterranean. Winds likely to be coming in from the east uh, or from the northeast across many parts of northern and also western Europe. Week four precipitation, uh, 500 millibar height anomaly, I should say. Uh, again, just shows that the trough of low pressure is shifting southwards. That trough is moving southwards all the time. Jet stream moving southwards with it. High pressure through the North Atlantic going up towards Greenland, probably bringing in the wind from the north or a northeasterly uh, direction or an east to northeast direction across much of northern and eastern Europe. Week four temperature anomaly again looking cold across northern and western Europe, milder across east and southeast Europe. So, we've got the Baltic Sea states, we've got Scandinavia, northern Germany into the Low Countries, and then down towards Spain and Portugal, and of course, covering either the UK, looking colder than average. Eastern, southeastern parts of Europe are milder than average from Italy into. Greece and Turkey, and then pushing up to Black Sea, uh, mild average there. And then in, in between, um, there's no signals. So so this area just here could still be mild. Uh, this white area here could still be mild, or it may transition into something uh, colder. And the week for precipitation anomaly, lastly, from the uh, 8th to 15th of February, looking like that. Weakening signals, generally uh, northern and northwestern parts of Europe dry of an average where we've got the blocking areas of high pressure through here, and it's colder, it's generally drier. Uh, eastern and southeastern Europe perhaps hinting at being a little bit wetter than average, but by this point the signal has weakened a lot. Right, so uh, that's it. We'll stop there. We could extend out to weeks five and six, but we will not do so <laughs> for this video as it's a 30 day forecast. We'll do uh, weeks five and six data in our live stream tomorrow from six o'clock. So, so the general idea is like milder, I think, for many parts of Europe um, now for the rest of January through, through to the end of the month. Um, and then getting colder again in the north and west in particular. Uh, through the early part of February, um, the milder weather gets shunted away to the east and to the southeast. That takes it to the middle of February, and then, then we'll look beyond that in the second half of February in our live stream tomorrow. Remember, just a snapshot on any forecast beyond five, seven days, as we keep telling you, is, uh, is with uh, big, uh, you know, uh, pinches of salt and health warnings. So, it's just a snapshot of what Mon is showing today. It could look very different when we look at this model again on Friday. Uh, we're going to be back later on. Your 10 to 14 day video update will include all of latest information on Storm Christoph, And then uh, we're going to have uh, Snowwatch, I think, tonight. For this one, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.